Um, now I know if you buy it from the Shout Factory, which is who, who put this out, you can see the little Shout Factory logo there. If you buy this directly from Shout Factory for $18 or whatever, you actually get a pillowcase, a blood spattered pillowcase uh, that comes with it. So if you're into collecting that extra stuff, you might just want to buy it directly from Shout Factory while, while the supplies of the pillowcases last. Uh, I'm sure for collectors that they'll, they'll go pretty quickly. I, on the other hand, I'm not saying I'm not a collector or anything but in this case I was really concerned with the films and it didn't really matter if I got the pillowcase or not so I had some other things to order from Amazon so I just ordered this uh, from them as well now again are these the greatest films ever made in the horror catalog no they are not but they are fun um, the second one has a little more overt comedy than, um, the other two. Um, but they all have their comedy elements in them. Uh, the least comedic would probably be part three, but it still has some comedy elements in it. Um, as you can see, the special features here, uh, you've got a new anamorphic widescreen transfer of Slumber Party Massacre. And Summer Party Massacre 2 audio commentaries on each film, which I didn't know about beforehand because I'd went and I'd checked uh, Shout Factory specs on it and didn't see that listed. So I was really surprised when I opened this package from Amazon and found out there were uh, commentaries for all the films. There's an all new three part documentary called Sleepless Nights Revisiting the Slumber Party Massacres. There's a photo and poster still gallery. And there are also theatrical trailers. So a great little package uh, for around $18 uh, with or without the blood spattered pillowcase. Whichever way you decide to go, you're still getting a great package. Um, the transfers, especially for the original Summer Party Massacre, are not exceptional. But it's still worth it to get this package and... Uh, being this, the others are out of print, and you could stand to to pay as much as seventy or so dollars to get them. Here's your chance to get them in decent quality with commentaries and a documentary, uh, all in one package. Uh, I don't see how um, someone could pass this up, especially if they're a fan of these films. Okay, so. That's Slumber Party Massacre. Okay. The next one was just sort of kind of a impulse buy. I had heard of this film uh, quite a while back, but never purchased it. And it eventually came out on DVD. And as you can see, it has John Candy in it. This is called The Clown Murders. It came out in 1976. It's as old as I am. Uh, 34 years old for those of you that didn't know how old I was um, and let me tell you guys this film was definitely not what I was expecting from the cover and I know you can't always go by the cover you would expect or I think most horror fans would expect uh, some creepy individual dressed in a creepy clown costume as we all know some people are very they have an aversion to clowns and um, you would expect this creepy person in the clown costume to be going around kind of creeping around for about 15 minutes and then start killing people off no this movie went for an hour oh no oh, i should say over an hour with no murders some kind of hokey kidnapping scene and some very bizarre um, love scenes. Uh, one in particular between John Candy's character and a woman who is kidnapped. Um, I really don't know what to say about that, but it was it was just bizarre for me to watch. And Although I wasn't completely bored with the movie, I would not call this a horror film. 
and it's being marketed as a horror film as you can see right here uh, I would call it more along the lines of a suspense film psychological thriller something along that lines and that's 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 a stretch even saying that um, the transfer is not really really good they didn't go to any great lengths to make it look any better than it probably did originally um, image entertainment put this out as you can see there uh, there are no special features on the disc it runs approximately 95 minutes and I'd say at least 85 of those minutes are build up and 85 minutes you don't need that much build up especially if you're a horror fan and I'm not saying that you can't have a little build up and I'm not saying I'm from what they call the MTV generation where something's got to be happening bam 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 it's got to happen but this film drug the whole storyline of the kidnapping out far too long um, for the the remainder of the film to be of any enjoyment to a horror fan now for someone that's not really into um, horror films they would probably find this more entertaining uh, my mother for instance she used to be a big time horror slasher fan now she's moved on to sort of like mystery films suspense and stuff like this she would get more enjoyment out of this than I uh, obviously did but it, it's cheap at Amazon I think it was under ten dollars uh, so you know you want to complete your John Candy collection or whatever or you just want to give it a watch you're just curious then you know you're, you're not out a lot of money but just don't go into it expecting it to be an all-out uh, you know Boston wall horror film because it's not gonna be that definitely not okay so that's the clown murders the last one Again, this is another guilty pleasure of mine. Um, this is the Howard the Duck Special Edition. Um, I held off quite a while on getting this one. I was always a, you know, a, a fan of Howard the Duck. I enjoyed it. It's just a goofy little film based on a comic book. Uh, and it's just, you know, my brother and I used to watch it over and over and over again. It used to come on um, the Fox Channel uh back back when fox when it was fox 44 and they used to show movies like they would show movies at night and then they would show them the next day like over the weekend at 12. so sometimes you had horror films and then sometimes you had films like howard the duck on um and that was one that my brother and i caught and we just we fell in love with this film it was just so funny and unique for that time period and I really enjoyed it and I still enjoy it popping it in every once in a while and watching it um, I didn't notice and this might not be such a big deal for most people I did not notice the artwork had been slightly altered till I was talking to a friend of mine um, who told me that they removed the cigar from Howard's mouth um, on the cover art and when he told me that I got to look and I was like yeah they did they took the cigar out now I don't know if that was in a in an attempt to make the film more palatable for uh, children uh, families I, I don't know exactly what the influence was uh, to do that but I don't call this a kids film would kids enjoy it yes probably so uh, I did as a kid of about 11 years old um, and still got great enjoyment out of it did I really notice Howard the Duck smoking a cigar no you know it wasn't that big of a deal do I think that encourages people to smoke no I don't but I'm a different type of person than a lot of uh, people that are against this type of thing uh, are and you know that's okay but 
you don't have to monkey around with all the cover art for DVDs and all the poster art and all that stuff to make a point. Uh, there's other ways that you can, you know, say that you think smoking is bad or drinking is bad or what, you know, whatever, if that's your personal opinion. But films and music and things like that, just don't go monkeying around with that. Uh, I know when E.T. was re-released uh, in that special edition DVD format, which I have, they went back in and they took things like um, the guns out of the, the cop's hands near the end of the film. That's ridiculous. You know, don't change something that was good the first time around uh, in a way to make it more uh, PC or whatever you're doing for the market now. Put it out there like it always was. And the people that like it will still like it. There will be new fans. There will be people that don't like it. But that's the way the, the world works. So uh, this was a small thing by having the cigar taken out of his mouth or his beak, whatever you want to call it. But it was just sort of unusual for me to notice that after my friend mentioned it. But anyway, on to the, the special features. There is a very nice uh, little documentary and or featurette. I look back at Howard the Duck. The cast and crew reflect on the making of the film, including its groundbreaking special effects. Releasing the Duck explore the public's initial reaction to the film and its transformation into a cultural phenomenon. There's also archival featurettes, news featurette, the stunts of Howard the Duck, the special effects of Howard the Duck, and the music of Howard the Duck. And also there are teaser trailers. No commentary, which I was disappointed. I would have liked to have had uh, some commentary with um, the guy who played Howard. Leah Thompson, Tim Robbins, people like that, if they could have got them. And uh, that would have been a more complete package for me. But it's still a pretty good package. The transfer looked pretty decent uh, for a DVD. Maybe... Uh, I'm not sure if they put this out on Blu-ray, but it, maybe if they ever do, uh, the transfer will look even better. Maybe they can get even more special features. So, anyway, that was Howard the Duck, and um, this is uh, basically what I picked up in the last few weeks. Um, I hope to, I know I've said this before, I hope to start doing videos more regularly uh, but I just have been tied up with other things as of late and so haven't gone around to doing what I really want to do. Uh, so I hope to be back with another video soon guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon.